I can't pay my bills. What am I going to do? I met a woman like this in Chicago some years ago. She interrupted my service walking down an aisle, holding a piece of paper in her hand, and a weeping. I got off the platform and went down and met her. I said, what you crying for? I got a dispossessed. I said, what's that? She said, I'm behind four months in my rent. And they're going to put me out on the street in the morning. I said, the devil's a liar. <laughs> she said, but the dispossessed. I said, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> I took it, crumbled it up, and I threw it behind the platform. And it says, you're looking at the wrong thing. And I said, you got a promise in that book. God said he would meet all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. It's nothing but a trick of the devil to take away your joy and put weeping in your spirit. This is no time to weep, but it's time to rejoice. She said, but Brother Sam, my, <laughs> my mama's blind. She's been blind for 38 years, and all I can see, there's the mind, all I can see is my blind mama sitting out there on that step. Oh, what am I going to do? I said, shut up! That's what you're going to do. See, now, as a pastor, I couldn't do that. But as an evangelist, I can do that. I mean, I ain't got time. I said, when's this dispossessed? 10 o'clock in the morning, this Sunday night. I mean, God's got to do something quick here. She said, but Brother Shambach, I don't know what to do. I gave the man $50, but he threw it back at me. Said he wanted it all, or he's calling the sheriff and go put me out on the street. And I said, sit down here in the front row. I left my notes and left everything when I stood in front of her and I preached for 30 minutes. I preached all the faith I could into her heart. I didn't take the offering yet. Then I looked at her, stood in front of her. It's time to take the offering. She looked at me and said, eh, Brother Shamba, remember me? I need money. I said, I know you do. Where's your pocketbook? I said, I'm a good listener. I heard you say you threw $50 to that man, he threw it back. I said, I ain't throwing nothing back. And I said, where's your pocketbook? She said, my mama got it. I said, get it. And she got up in a huff. She's mad. She's mad at me. I knew she'd get glad, though. I mean, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, he's supposed to be there. And I saw her coming with her purse. I turned my back. I, did, I didn't know whether she was going to hit me on the head with a purse or what. And she dropped something in that book, in that bucket. And I had, didn't know her mother was there. And I said, put your blind mama there on the front. You stand behind her. I'm going to pray for blind mama first. Laid hands on her. And I said, you blind spirit in the name of Jesus, come out of the eye. Now, in my spirit, I knew God healed her, but there was no evidence of it. But faith is the evidence of things not seen. I don't have to see it. I knew God healed that woman. And I said, Mama, will you do something for me? She said, I'll do anything you ask me. I said, the whole way home, I want you to thank God for perfect sight till your head hits the pillow. And I said, if you do what I tell you, you'll wake up with perfect vision. 38 years blind. Then I laid hands on her daughter, the dispossessed. <laughs> and I said, Lord, I don't know how to pray for this. <laughs> Just do it, Jesus. <laughs> do it. Everybody say, do it. <laughs> she come back the next night, <laughs> come in those doors, a jumping and a squealing and a holler. <laughs> 
I leaped off the platform and I said, stop! Hush, woman! She said, don't you remember me? I said, I know who you are, but I ain't letting this sermon get by me. Why didn't you come to church like that last night? She said, how'd I come? I went, ah, that devil's going to put me out on the street. It ain't no time to weep. It's time to rejoice. Sorrow may be enduring for the night, but I come to tell you, joy is coming in the morning. You don't know how close you are to your miracle. I said, come on down here, girl. I know you got a testimony. And she told the story that I just told you. But she said, this morning I was awakened with a smell of coffee brewing, bacon frying, homemade biscuits in the oven. Brother Perky, make you hungry, don't it? And she said, I sat straight up in my bed and I looked over in my blind mama's bed and it was empty. She said, I went out into the kitchen and there was my blind mama. And I said, Mama, what you doing? What? <laughs> she said, Brother Shambach told me if I'd praise God the whole way home, I'd wake up with perfect vision. And she said, Honey, you've been making my breakfast for 38 years, but I thought I'd make you the best breakfast you ever had. I got 2020 vision in my eye. Hey! She said, Brother Shamba, we didn't eat no breakfast. We had church in the kitchen. Now she said, I started praying, Lord, oh Lord, Lord, if you can open Mama's eyes, you can pay the rent. Take your time, Lord, you got two hours yet. Boy, when God does something for you, that faith begins to mount. You can believe God for anything. Can you shout amen? Hallelujah. She said, 8 o'clock, the mailman came. I ran down and got the mail. And you know how when you're looking for money? But instead of money, there were four more bills. Isn't that just like the devil? Here you are trusting God for money, and you got more bills. She said, it didn't bother my faith. I just laid them on the table. And I said, Lord, why are you paying the rent? Catch these four while you're at it also. Hey! <laughs> 10 o'clock. He's going to be there. 9 o'clock, she got a phone call. One hour to go. He may not come when you want him. But he's always on time. Nine o'clock in the morning, she got a phone call from a woman. And she said, you so-and-so? Sure am. 30 years ago, you loaned me some money. You remember me? Sure don't. She said, 30 years ago, you bar I borrowed money from you, and I never gave it back. Now do you remember me? She said, I sure recollect you now. <laughs> but she said, I never thought I'd get it back. She said, honey, I never thought I'd pay it back. But she said, last night, oh, God have mercy, <laughs> last night, Sunday night, she was window shopping in downtown Chicago when an overwhelming force got a hold of her and dragged her down State Street. And she stood in front of the Pacific Garden Mission. That's where Billy Sunday got saved. She said, I ain't never been to a mission in my life. And that power that brought me down there took me inside, and I sat on the back seat, 
And that man of God preached for about 20 minutes, and when he gave an altar call, I got up to go out, but the same power dragged me to that altar, and I confessed my sin, and she said, I heard the voice of God. He said, now I can talk to you. Do you remember the woman that you borrowed money from? 30 years ago, God said, I want you to pay it back with 10% interest for 30 years. She said, I know you have it. She said, Lord, I don't know how to get in touch with her, but I'll find her and I'll send her a check. God said, no check. She needs it by 10 o'clock. God knows your deadline. I said, he knows your deadline. He knows your deadline. She said, I don't know how, I don't know how to get in touch with her. God her said, God said her phone number's 854-3746. God knows your telephone number. God knows her address. God knows when your deadline is. Hallelujah. God always on time. Can you shout amen? She came. She came and she brought me a check for a one thousand dollars. It was a tithe off of that. Ten thousand dollars. She went back at quarter to ten and put four months back rent and four months in advance and brought me a thousand dollars the next night and I said, Devil, na 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 That devil ain't got no sense. I said that devil ain't got no sense. It ain't no time to weep. It's time to rejoice. It's time to praise God. It's no time to hang your heart on a willow tree. My God, get it off of there. It's time to sing a song. 